Welcome to a brand new series, Frame Your Game in Paradise. I'm very excited to announce our first guest of our brand new series, Levi Guerra from Outrageous Advertising. Both Levi and I are very excited to talk some golf today. Honestly, the big question is, how many years have you been in business? What brought you to this, this point in your career, I guess? It stuck with me right from age 12, I would say, would be kind of when I first really cared about playing the game of golf, which led into getting a job as a club scrubber, car washer, <laughs> range ball picker. Fast track to 2024, I'm still doing it. So your focus is really helping people enhance or really just help their the way that they play golf. Yeah, I, I think enhance is the right word. In our series of lessons to this point, we've had a lot of success. And again, that, that circles back to why I'm doing these videos and why I want to change, um, you know, the platform to defining to the actual student's body and the student's ability and what their limitation is and what their success ceiling might look like. Right. Um, I need to get in front of that person so I can explain that to the best of my ability. And again, ultimately have that student have more success and opportunity in the game of golf. And not just for lower scores, but to actually come out and enjoy the 18 holes or nine <laughs> holes. You can sit upstairs after and actually talk about some really good positive things that have happened than yep. all the negative things and why you're bad at golf. So, so yeah, I would agree with you that, uh, you know, as an amateur member here at Paradise Canyon, like I'm looking at uh, YouTube videos sometimes, and you can't help it. You're looking at golf content, so they're going to pop up, yep. and uh, and and you see some of these pieces of advice that even you try and come to the driving range and attempt to replicate, and obviously it doesn't work for you. What is the value of working with you to get golf lessons? Then it's not it's not reinventing the golf swing. It's it's defining it specifically for that golfer. It's easy to see on YouTube that their hips are turning, their feet are off the ground, their swings faster, and they're all over the place, right? <laughs> but they don't know how to define what parts are moving first, last, where the flexibility is coming from, where the thought process is coming from. It's not just one size, one shoe, cookie cutter. Right. Um, each person has their own limitations. So my value is to pick that out of that person. Yep. Um, then give myself a moment of some assessment time to say, okay, how do I want to how do I want to do this now with the student? What I've always prided myself on is getting to know the person on, on, a, on a better level first. Right. Um, golf swing, no question, that's why they're there. But if I understand that I can get inside the brain of what their, their kind of daily life coming into this lesson looks like and how they treat, um, how they treat golf on the golf course, um, I, I can kind of tailor that to, to what we're trying to do, right? How do you get more people involved in the game and excited about a lesson or maybe not being afraid i guess to to get a lesson their fear that i see all the time is they're going to change my entire golf swing Ooh. my whole entire golf swing is going to get blown up i heard the old stereotypes the cliches my swing isn't going to work now for the next three months i'm going to play bad golf on the golf course um, it's going to take a year process to make these changes and i don't want to go through that so i'm not going to take a golf lesson that is a fear that i have to get out of them right away and say okay Let's go hang out on the range. Let's go grab a coffee, right? Let's let's grab a coffee. How many milk? How many sugars? Let's go hang out for half an hour on the range. Go hit some balls in front of me. Let's see what you. Let's see who you are first, right? Because I'm not charging them right away, right? I'm not pinning them with a. You better do a five. Yeah, buy the pack now, <laughs> right? Um, let's let's go talk about this. Come sit in my office. I would love the day for people to be more open earlier. To getting golf lessons mm -hmm. then wrapping their brain around it and trying all these things on the internet <laughs> that again is going to bring you to the same spot um, of confusion I'm, I'm actually kind of curious how do you get more people just interested and involved in the game of golf like from your standpoint it's things like this right it's mm -hmm. it's information it's good information you're hoping that you're putting out good information to make it attractive for someone to be like hey okay, I'm a regular Joe, um, that guy's a regular Joe too, and look what he's done. Okay, maybe I can learn a couple things from that, and you, 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 just, you get your toes wet. Yeah. And it is things like going to the range on a member yeah. Saturday and just schmoozing. Hey, 
that's not a very good shot over there. What were you, what, 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 what were you trying to hit there just now? Were you trying to cut that? Were you trying to draw that? He's like, I don't know where my golf swing is. Well, come see me one day. You know, come to, come have a coffee in my office. Right. You know, it's, it goes back to literally having that coffee in your office because now it's not, it's not, we're going straight into a golf lesson. We're having a conversation. We're being real humans. We're talking. Yeah. If I get that opportunity, it's a sign, seal, deliver program. Let's run with it. Let's go. Yeah. And let's see where we get you. Yeah. You know, and okay. we'll reevaluate at the end of however many lessons we decide that the program needs to be. And then I want your honest answer. Do you feel like you're improving? It's yes or no. If it's no, okay, we need we need to figure out what's going on. If it's yes, great. Now what's the next level? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Before we jump to level five, we need one, two, three, four. Yeah. What's your vision for bringing your game and and, and what do you see for goals for 2024? Like, what, where are you taking the direction of Frame Your Game to this year? What I want to do with Frame Your Game in Paradise um, is show the general population real situations. It's easy to say, step one, two, three, this is what you'll do, and you'll hit this golf ball up in the air. Well, it doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. Okay? That's all great. Yes, that's the static, what should happen to hit a golf ball. But again, if I get that chance in front of that person, my personality, their personality can drive. We can have some fun with this mm. as we're doing it, right? It's not so classroom orientated behind a desk, looking at the chalkboard, writing notes. It's it's engageable and yeah. it's fun. The videos now, after years of doing things, um, transitioning from last year's videos to, to me again, I couldn't be more excited. Um, I miss doing it, yeah. um, but I didn't want to do it again and just do the same old videos. So awesome. this year we're going to see real life people, real life situations. Um, I love it. I love that. And and show the real people nine to fivers that yeah. that play golf and that can't practice a bunch. This is what it is. You're going to see how I teach students. You're going to see how I MacGyver my way through situations live on camera. Right. I love it. So I'm I'm super excited for it, and I uh, appreciate you bringing that up. Yeah, so. no man. I, I guess all I can say is uh, I'm excited to see your vision come to life, and uh, and to stay tuned to. Uh, this upcoming frame your game season and see what it's all about. So yeah, I, appreciate that. I, I, I definitely want people to tune in and check it out because it sounds like it's going to be a blast. Yeah, I look forward to it. We'll get you on a video. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks,